five lead and we'll try and close out the Grizzlies here in the ninth, turning it over to Dylan Cumming out of the bullpen, fifth pitcher tonight for the Giants. Cumming who leads the Giants with four saves this year, four out of four in those save chances. Giants don't have just the one set closer. Often it depends on availability out there, but Cumming has certainly been a go-to arm in the late innings. 2.45 ERA as he makes his 14th appearance, and he'll be facing the top of the order. Jake Snyder leads off, takes a first pitch fastball high for ball one. Snyder will be followed by Betancourt and then Ritter. 1-0 pitch, a swing and a ground ball up the middle, but Rodriguez shaded that way, a step to his left. He fields it and fires to first for the out. So perfect defensive positioning there with Rodriguez playing Snyder up the middle, and it was right at him. Quick first out for Cumming here in the ninth. And that'll bring up Betancourt. Betancourt got the Grizzlies on the board with a two-run single in the third inning. One for four tonight. Backing away from that pitch, it was close, but called a ball. Cumming, I mean, he's got movement on everything that he throws. Got a, a real good slider in particular. Make a change up there, but that misses low and in. 2-0. and oh. Got the long hair coming out the back of his hat. Works out of the windup. And the 2-0 -oh called a strike. Fastball at 90 at the bottom of the zone. 2-1 to Betancourt with one down here in the top of the ninth inning. Giants have the three-run lead. Coming delivers. And the changeup. Strike two called over the outside corner. So continuing to throw that pitch here in this sequence. Two balls, two strikes. Coming delivers. Betancourt swings, lifts one out into left center. Long run, Otremba into the gap, and Otremba on the run will get there. Reaching up high, he makes the catch. Tremba got a good jump on that fly ball. And in medium deep left center, puts it away. So two outs. Giants now just an out away from closing out the Grizzlies. And here is Ryan Ritter, 0 for 4 tonight. A rare, very quiet night for him offensively, at least so far, as he takes a slider in for a strike. That's often the go-to pitch for Dylan Cumming on in a save situation here in the ninth. The 0-1, the slider again, and Ritter goes around. That pitch was about a foot outside. Ritter's a good hitter. And uh, he was just totally fooled on that one. He'll call time. No balls, two strikes to count. Coming. Ready, out of the wind. He throws, and the slider even further outside. And even then, Ritter, I mean, he had to work hard to keep the hands back. He's really picking up that pitch right now. One ball, two strikes. Coming shakes off one. Now has one he likes, throws the slider, and again, way outside, two and two. Tantalizing there, trying to get Ritter to go after it again. Two balls, two strikes, with two outs in the ninth. Coming, delivers, and the slider swung on and missed. He struck him out. The game is over, and the Giants, another comeback win. Tonight, they overcome a four-run deficit, down 5-1 at one point. They end up scoring seven unanswered runs, get just fabulous work from the bullpen, and the Giants beat the Fresno Grizzlies, a final score of 8-5. This team is red hot, especially here at home. Going back to the last homestand, Giants have now won their last six games here at Excite Ballpark. Such a confident club, really anywhere, but especially here in front of the hometown fans. And the Giants taking another step in this first half race. And. Uh, once again, holding off this Fresno Grizzlies ball club, eight to five.